Langerok's story, however, begins in a modest farmhouse in the northwest of Ireland with a mother and her five children. They had very little, supported mainly by the five or seven pounds sent to them each week by the father, who had emigrated to find work in London. As two of these children, Ray and Des O'Rourke, learned respect for hard work and the importance of family, community and looking out for each other. They also learned the hard lesson of poverty, as did so many Irish at that time. The only way to do better was to leave. So in 1966, at the age of 19 and without finishing his schooling, Ray joined his father in London and like his father, found work in construction. The pay was good, as were the opportunities for advancement. Ray enrolled in site engineering classes in addition to working six days a week. For the first time, he encountered genuine teachers who ignited in him a lifelong passion for engineering and its possibilities and an abiding belief in the power of knowledge. At work though, things were changing. Ray became increasingly dissatisfied with the politics of working for someone else. He decided it was time to go. Even though he had a young family to support, a mortgage to pay, and no extra cash on hand, Ray submitted his resignation, determined to make it on his own. He named his framework and concreting business R. O'Rourke and Son, even though his son was a newborn baby. With the laundry as their office, Ray, Des, their business partners, and a small group of like-minded colleagues became a startup, and their journey began. From the outset, R. O. Rourke and Son was ambitious. On one project, a developer had allocated 56 weeks to complete some work. Ray and his team said they could do it in 24. The developer replied that it couldn't be done, that he didn't understand the scope of the project. Ray responded by saying, but you haven't heard how we plan to do it. He then revealed his innovative solution to save time and reduce waste. Well, he got the contract. The work was finished in just over 20 weeks. Other companies caught wind of this accomplishment and some even came to see the project for themselves. The reputation, the brand of R.O. Rourke and Son and its people had begun. The company grew. The projects got larger and more diverse, as did the R.O. Rourke and Son workforce. Their reputation grew too. Success with early major projects, such as Canary Wharf, stations on the Jubilee Line and developments linked to the Barcelona Olympics had people in the industry saying, if you want to do what seems impossible, just tell O'Rourke it can't be done. But R. O'Rourke and Son was still a subcontractor, working for major construction companies, including the biggest, Lang PLC. Lang was an institution in British construction, from early modular house building to recovery construction after the two world wars. However, Lang Construction had completed a number of unprofitable projects and was becoming a growing liability for the wider Lang family business. In late 2000, Ray O'Rourke learned that the construction arm might be up for sale and decided to go for it. Some laughed that Ray would even think that the family business could acquire Lang or could turn it around even if they did. Others were horrified by the thought that an Irish subby would be entering the higher ranks of the corporate establishment. The consensus was that R.O. Rourke and Son couldn't do it. Ray and Des acquired the company on the 22nd of October 2001 for one pound. From the beginning, they saw the true potential in the business was its people. By giving people the right tools through education and technology, by trusting them to come up with their own ideas and bringing those ideas to life, by committing to finding better ways in every aspect of the business, anything was possible. This was how the business would become a major player in the industry, in the UK, in the Middle East, in Australia, or wherever the future would take it. With the formation of Lang Rock, a new world had opened up, and Ray and Des were determined to build a company with purpose that would ignite real change in an outdated industry. By harnessing automation, sparing innovation, and focusing on human factors, Langerork pushed the boundaries of what was possible in construction. Langerork has led the way by developing award-winning safety programs, investing in a directly employed labour force, pioneering modern methods of construction through off-site manufacturing and DFMA, and achieving greater certainty for our clients with an end-to-end -end delivery model. Today, the people who make up Langer Rock are proud of a culture born from a family business. We can rely on each other in tough times and also be there to celebrate success. At Langer Rock, this is called the give and the get. Balancing individual performance and commitment with a family network that cares, sponsors ambition and supercharges careers and development. From the beginning, we've operated with care, integrity and courage. We've been pushing the boundaries of what's possible 
always in service of higher purpose. Now more than ever, faced with the greatest challenges of our time, we do so in service of humanity. Because at Langer Oak, we know it can be done.